Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, I want to show you uh, a very simple and quick tutorial in SketchUp. Um, you don't need a, an extension or any tool for this. All you need is SketchUp and your keyboard. Um, it's how to multiply and divide. Uh, some people might think I was living under a rock because I literally just discovered this a few days ago. So, um, let's get started. Okay, so let's say uh, you have this plinth and you want to add a balustrade to it. So what you're gonna do is, obviously, you're gonna uh, create your bars. So for this, I'm gonna use a square shape bar, which is 5 cm by 5 cm. You can do whatever shape you like, just that's the one I'm be doing. And then you can make it as a component or a group, and I have a video uh, showing you the difference between both components and group. I'm gonna make it as a component for now. I'll move it to the edge and then extrude it for one meter. Hit one meter and that's it. So your basic instinct is to copy this a hundred couple of times until you get your balustrade. But we all know that it can be very difficult and time consuming so I'm gonna show you the first trick which is the divide. So you copy your bar your first bar and then you move it to the end or your end point where you want the bars to stop and then you're gonna press the slash button on your keyboard the backslash it's basically just a math formula if you want to divide something you would add uh, the backslash so you just divide it into how many ever uh, bars you'd like and then you can even, if you think it's far too spaced or you want it closer together, do not do anything, just re-type uh, the backslash and then type the number. So for example, if you type backslash and then 4, and then you thought, oh, that's too far, leave it as it is, backslash and then 6 or 7 or 8 or whatever you can do, even textures with it, like if you want to do wood texture, uh, wood panels, you can even uh, to 50 I even tried 1000 one time and it was really funny because it was just a black solid so uh, this is if you don't know how many uh, bars that you want and you you don't mind the spacing but if you do know the space and you do know how many bars that you need so I'm just gonna move it to one meter if you press the red button uh, the right button it will restrict your cursor to the uh, red axis and if you press the left it will restrict it only to the green axis so i'm gonna move it to one meter and then press x it's just like a basic for math formula you're just gonna add x and then say three or you can even four or five it's the same as divide and there you have it it's really simple and it saves a lot of time in my opinion and it's so crazy I didn't even know you could do this and then obviously because I had them as components so later on if you want to change the design or anything you want to make them wider or uh, you're, you're not doing a balustrade maybe you're doing walls or whatever so it's really easy uh, trick so I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you next time